it's no secret that America's health insurance system is broken. If you think about it too hard, you'll give yourself a panic attack that feels like a heart attack, wind up in the ER with a bill that gives you a real heart attack, get a bigger bill, decide to fake your death, escape out the window, accidentally fall into the hospital brambles, and get a whole other bill to pay for new brambles. Even with insurance, medicine things sure are expensive. There's got to be another way. It's a little known loophole in the law that authorized Obamacare. No health insurance, but you don't want to pay the IRS penalty for not buying health insurance? No problem if you're a Christian and you join a health care sharing ministry. Every month, people put money into a communal medical fund instead of towards traditional insurance. We're about um, 80,000 um, believers in Christ spread across the country that simply share in each other's medical medical bills every month. Okay, but what do you do if one month God blows all the money on a wicked new jet ski? <laughs> Why walk on water when you can shred on it? In a healthcare sharing ministry, members pay a set amount every month, usually far less than regular insurance, with the expectation that the ministry will cover their medical bills when they need it. But the problem is they're totally unregulated and under no legal obligation to pay. It's really up to the whims of the person reviewing your claims, and you don't know if you're going to get a good Christian, a bad Christian, or a sister Christian. <laughs> Worthless if you're sick, but sick as hell at karaoke. <laughs> Unfortunately, members are finding out the hard way their care isn't covered. Kyber 7 has since talked with a half dozen people who all thought they were signing up for health insurance with Alera, only to have their claims denied. Deny, deny, deny. Ten-year-old Lola Grace Seegers is healthy just four months after brain surgery. Doctors removed a softball-sized brain tumor. But last week came the bill from their health plan, Alara Companies. 325624 We had a life-threatening emergency. The Seegers say Alara even rejected Lola Gray's emergency room bill, saying headaches aren't an emergency. Oh. Off. Calling a brain tumor a headache? I'm glad you believe in hell because you are definitely going there. <laughs> Members of health sharing ministries often have to sign a Christian lifestyle agreement. For example, ultra members must agree to not smoke, do drugs, get drunk, or have sex outside of marriage. Basically, you need to have a pre-existing condition called being a nerd. <laughs> Though, for an extra premium, they do offer an option that allows butt stuff. <laughs> Since the Affordable Care Act passed, Christian health sharing ministries have blown up, enrolling an estimated million plus people. But many of them don't realize it's not actual insurance because it's often marketed like insurance. They even mimic real plan tiers like gold, silver, and bronze with names like diamond, emerald, and sapphire, though they really should be called dog shit. It's so <laughs> confusing, even healthcare ministry employees aren't clear on what they're selling. Through a public disclosure request, we got a hold of this training video, where even the speaker calls their service health insurance before quickly correcting himself. We're finally applying health insurance, health care in a market. That was their video! <laughs> if someone in a Burger King training film dropped all the Whoppers, Burger King would not leave that in. <laughs> we already know we're eating floor Whoppers. We don't need them to say it. <laughs> Some ministries prey on members' generosity by sharing personal stories from the people who will receive their contribution. I mean, who wouldn't rather send their payment to a real person? Real insurance companies should do that. If Geico sent a bill that said my payment would pay for that gecko to get braces, it would be a pleasure to pay that bill and fix his jack will teeth. But it's not entirely clear how members' money is being used. In one case, regulators found that only 20% of contributions went toward members' medical bills. Not only do some ministries pay commissions to third-party brokers, they also make some banger ads. I'm getting jerked around up here, trying to sign up for health care. Have you looked into Liberty Health Share? They have programs starting at $199. No, I haven't. Didn't think so. Hope you're all right. No, Chad, he's dead. The man is dead, and you're just standing there.
Ministry members get none of the protections mandated by the Affordable Care Act, including coverage for mental health, birth control, or pre-existing conditions. And their concept of pre-existing conditions is pretty extreme. When one couple adopted their first child, they were shocked to discover that Samaritan, the sharing ministry they'd paid into for years, would not cover any condition an adopted child has prior to being adopted, making adoption a pre-existing condition. Yeah, I think it's time we started blaming the kids for taking so long to be adopted. Drop those mops, kids. Go find a home. <laughs> All health care ministries are risky for their members, but one, Alira, seems to be an actual scam. A lawsuit filed last month by the Texas AG on behalf of the Texas Department of Insurance claims Alira did not qualify as a health care sharing ministry in the state. The lawsuit alleges the company is operating as an insurance company without the right to. What we saw and what we're, we're aware of at this time, it's clearly a scam. Let me repeat that. Alira didn't even qualify as a health care sharing ministry. Even when they were full of shit, they were full of shit about the shit they were full of. It's full of shit inception. <laughs> We spoke with Sherry Lewis, a dance teacher in Seattle who signed up for Alira after her previous insurance dropped her. When I had signed on, I'd already had one hip replacement two years before from a car accident, and I was having problems with my hip. I was having a lot of pain. So I went to the surgeon. They said, you absolutely need surgery. And we scheduled it, and then they came back and said, we won't cover it because it's pre-existing. The cost to have it out of pocket in, in the United States was going to be like 80000 out of pocket. The only reason someone should spend $80,000 on hip surgery is if they're getting a surgical transplant of Shakira's hips. <laughs> Not plastic surgery, her actual hips. While some states have taken action against Alira for particularly deceptive practices, they can't regulate other ministries because they're not real health insurance. It's both a catch-22 and also the worst catfish since that time I thought I was in an online relationship with Mark Paul Gosselaar, but it turned out I was chatting with Dustin Diamond and it was after <laughs> he stabbed that guy. The philosophy behind health sharing ministries is a nice one. We should all want to share resources and help carry each other's burdens. It's certainly the Christian thing to do, and also, for the record, the democratic socialist thing to do. If Jesus were around today, he'd probably be a hot boy for Bernie. <laughs> Healthcare ministries take advantage of the people who are desperate for help. They're a scammy offshoot of a larger problem. Everyone deserves access to healthcare, regardless of income. It's what this hot boy would have wanted.